We're gonna spend the next hundred days getting as rich as possible. We're not very rich, but we're not gonna get any richer by just standing around. The first thing we're gonna need to do to get rich is get extremely overpowered tools. And that starts with wood. So we'll start with the classic Minecraft things. Wooden pick gives us access to stone. And that will give us the rest of our stone gear. Now, don't think for a second that I didn't see this village over here. I feel like villages are probably the most OP way to get rich fast, so we're gonna take full advantage of this. I mean, first of all, we've got free food. You've got ore just randomly chilling next to it. Emeralds. And of course, early access to iron. That's uh, five pieces, by the way. And of course, the most important part of all, villagers. I'm gonna gather up all the beds. Ooh, I didn't think this was gonna be here. Okay, there's some good stuff. The goal is to make it so that all the villagers go to one area. Basically, this entire first section, we just gotta make the most of these villagers to give us all the things that we need. Right, and so since there isn't a whole lot else we can do tonight, we are gonna head down as far as we can. And you know what? This actually feels like it's gonna take a really long time. So since we're going fast, we're gonna have to take risks, and I'm actually just gonna mine straight down. You know, a lot of people say it's the thing you're not supposed to do in Minecraft, but listen, the reason they tell you that is because they don't want you to succeed. Look, if you wanna get rich, you gotta be a trade Blazer. You gotta be able to take these risks. See? Look at that. We already found iron. Now, there's one other thing that we're really trying to go for, and that's acquiring a subscriber ratio of 69% of viewers not subscribed. Less than 10% of you are currently subscribed, which is, I'll be honest, a, a little abysmal. So, uh, why don't you maybe help me out with that? Look at that. We're not even through day one. We got redstone? Are you kidding me? Oh, and see, that is why you don't dig straight down. But I mean, come on, access to lava that fast? Easy. Yeah, we just gotta find our way through here. We got more iron. Okay, we've got a cave. I'm just trying to scope this out for diamonds. <gasps> Oh my gosh. Look, I know we can do this, okay? We can just make more armor. We'll get all our food out. All right, we've got a shield. I know we can do this. Oh, okay, here we go, here we go. Run, it's all good. Oh my God, there's diamonds right there. We just gotta build ourselves in here. This is like Fortnite, okay, remember? Do you remember Fortnite days? This is like Fortnite, it's just it's that easy. Look at that, okay, we found diamonds. It's gonna be one, two, three. Beautiful. Guys, look how rich we are. It's day one, and we have already acquired diamonds. Now, if you don't mind me, I'm just gonna... Okay, everything is fine. We're safe. We're safe. Oh, I'm actually so safe. I'll grab this iron. And look at that. We're out. Now, we just gotta do some hardcore building back up. Now, ladies and gentlemen, look at that. So, this is gonna serve as our villager prison. Uh, I mean, containment chamber. There we go. So, I'm gonna let this iron get cooking. And in what is probably going to feel like a twist of events, we're gonna start this world with a diamond axe. Look at me right now. If you wanna get ahead in this world, you gotta think outside the box. And so the next step in this process is gonna require getting as much wood as humanly possible. All right, so that's just under four stacks of log. I'm gonna make sure to grab as much gravel as I can. And that also reminds me, a lot of you guys ask how you can play some of these mods. And I actually started a brand new server for just that. After this video, you should definitely go play it. Information is in the description. So with this gravel, we are looking for flint. It's gonna give us five fletching tables. And so now with fletchers, we can make the oldest trade in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm about to show you the power of sticks. So logs become sticks pretty easy. At this point, we've almost already got a full stack of emeralds. We'll use our iron to get a smithing table. You can cook stone to get smooth stone and then use that to turn it into a blast furnace. We already have a grindstone. And so this is basically gonna give us the big three of OP trade deals. First thing I need is to level up this toolsmith. Then we can actually get boots from our armorer, but the level up will be super easy here too. And in fact, so easy again. To the point where we've already got this person giving us diamond gear. We just need a bit more iron, a whole heck of a lot more wood. And that's gonna be... Oh, look at that. This is a good start, but it's not enough. We must finish this ordeal. And to do that, we're actually gonna take a boat and head around the coast. And the thing that we are after is actually spruce trees right here. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm very aware of how dangerous this is, but we've got no time to waste. You see, we're not just here for the logs. We're gonna tear down these trees for sure, but what we're actually after are the saplings. That ought to be enough. So we'll return with one of the most profitable items in the game. And we can use our bones. Ha! Look at this bad boy right here. 
That's like half a day's worth of chopping in like a minute. And so with one final round of trades, look at that spicy boy. We get access to another axe. We use the efficiency to axe to chop even faster. And with all upgrades finished, we can get a pickaxe helmet. How dare you do this to me? And there you have it. Enchanted diamond gear, along with the diamond pick and the diamond axe. I would say that's pretty rich for day four, but we can obviously do better. Do not think for a second that I forgot about the diamonds I left down here. Oh, no, no, no. Listen, you guys down here, you thought you were tough before, okay? You thought you could bully me. Well, it was I that will do the bullying now. We got iron. We got gold. We got a full squad of zombies. Whoa, we got a full block of iron. Most importantly, however, we've got diamonds. So that's gonna be <laughs> one diamond. There's another one. And that makes three. Ooh. <laughs> okay, that's four. I think we could be satisfied with that. Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> Oh, I left a small gap open and the gap was big enough for a zombie to get in. That's really tough. There are still a few villagers roaming around here. So I think we're just gonna have to leave that mess for now. Bro. <laughs> that man is done for, if not already done. <gasps> okay, there's two. Oh my gosh, this golem has just been keeping them alive. This is our chance at redemption. I'm gonna clear out a second villager home. All right, so I think this is kind of nice, actually. Look at this, we got them in here. This can be a fresh start. And if we ever do have use for these guys again, it shouldn't be too hard to turn them back. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, say hello to our super, super basic new village area place. This is also probably gonna be our main base of operation for the foreseeable future. Look, if you wanna get rich, can't wait to time building a house when you're trying to build your business. So the next thing we're gonna do is head to the nether and oh my god <laughs> well the plan was to build a nether portal right here <laughs> we'll have to move this somewhere else but i also think i'm gonna hold off on this we don't need any more diamonds so we'll wait till fortune three it seems like there's a decent sized lava pool over here so we've got a soul sand valley yeah that would be a nether fortress right there oh man there's nothing better than when something completely up to luck goes absolutely in your favor and saves you like two days the only bad thing is this is gonna be really dangerous so first and foremost we are here for blaze rots you can't beat the ender dragon if you don't have blaze rots you know i won't say no to a couple diamonds anyway it's time to slice some flamey boys okay at the expense of almost dying, the game has handed us one of the rarest items. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, day seven. This is the danger I'm looking for. <gasps> oh my god. Is it? It is! <laughs> this fortress is insane. Like, at this point, should I just stick around for a third? I still need more blaze rods. Seven is not quite enough. Here we are. There's eight. Here's a nice blaze spawner. 15, that should be more than enough for the rest of the game. Why don't you just give me a head, please? Honestly, at this point, I'm kind of committed. Okay, look, here's our portal. This is safety, this is fine, this is good. I think we need to cool it. Like, we found diamonds, we got two wither skeleton skulls. It's one of those runs that are just too good. And the key is knowing when you're ahead on your luck. So we've got the blaze rods to make it to the end. If we want to go right now, we're going to need something like looting. I'm just going to check out this shipwreck, see if there's anything useful. A buried treasure map. Now, the thing we can do with these blaze rods, this person right here, they haven't actually taken a job yet, so we can get a cleric. That's a really easy level up. So we can get four ender pearls right away. So we'll spend the night with the old choppity chop. And now today we can finish this guy off with 14 ender pearls. So our village population continues to grow. The first potion we'll make is strength. We'll give ourselves a golden apple. Now we just need a phantom membrane. We'll have this villager become a butcher. And this butcher will now give us amazing deals on chicken. So cheap. So much saturation. Let's go take on an ender dragon. It has to go this way. It didn't go this way. It's gone this way. Okay. And we're off. Alrighty. So that is going to be land. Aha. Full said, no time to lose. Let's go for it. This is not a stronghold. This is a stronghold. Now, books are one of the key ingredients to getting rich in Minecraft. So the many librarians that watch this channel, I'm gonna have to ask you to all look 
away. Oh my god. Oh my god, there it is. <laughs> Alrighty. Ladies and gentlemen, are we ready? We're gonna beat the Ender Dragon on day 11. Oh my god, they're just handing it to us. You know, it just occurred to me, I, I don't even have a sword. Right here, right now, there you go. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, we are in. Is that it? Are we done? You want a piece of this? Come on over here. Okay, there we go. Round two. Nope. Really? That's very rude. Especially because I'm out of arrows. Let's try this again. I'm gonna find one of my own arrows and sniper out of the sky. Man, I swear you're just like better off to not even use strength. Listen, Ender Dragon, this downright awful, if not boring experience you have put me through, you are subject to be killed by a diamond hoe. That's right. You're stupid. Excellent. Now, don't think for a second that we're done in the end. Oh, no. You see this right here? It is definitely not what we're looking for. This is the smallest density I've ever seen. All right, we'll tell you what. While we're here, certainly doesn't hurt to grab some shulker shells. Beautiful. Now, if you guys would excuse me, I've got some running to do. A few moments later. Guys. I take it back. Well, definitely one of the cooler things I've ever seen. This is in fact the smallest end city I have ever seen. And in here we have diamond boots, silk touch shovel, and a really good fire protection helmet. Thanks, but no thanks. Now you see this right here. This is a little more up to speed. Okay, genuinely unsure if there is any loot in this entire place. So far, it's just turning out to be all the things that don't have the chests. This is where we must go. <laughs> oh, man. That's tough. We'll just build up really far. Well, it's not a terrible Ender Pearl shot, because if we miss, it just goes to the end and we don't die. But I will potion of slow falling just in case. It should be... Beautiful. Ha ha! You know what I'm here for. Ladies and gentlemen, one elytra. We got some decent gear here. Fire protection, solid shovel. All right, I'm down. In relation to making yourself rich, I think we could say that this was a successful trip. Gentlemen, I want you to remember this as the day you almost caught Nifty Smith. Anyone else see that? That was my pick. That was le legitimately my pick. Oh, but look at that. There's another one right here. It was meant to be. This is not a drill. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are out of here. Fully and truly done. Except, ho, 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 hold up. We're not rich yet. Does this look like a rich world to you? Doesn't look rich to me. Oh no there, baby villager. We're not even getting started. But if you have enjoyed so far, you could consider subscribing. So the first thing back we're going to tackle are enchantments. We've got all these bookshelves. Yes, that's 30. So to really do this efficiently, we'll also consider a librarian. Like efficiency four? You just like throw it on? Look at that. That's like insane. Smite four? Yeah, easily. Efficiency for shovel. Oh my gosh. There's the protection four we're looking for. Beautiful. Three and three. So this will be like 80% complete diamond armor. We've got 80% complete diamond gear. Well, we've got mending, but it's really expensive. Who do you think you are? I've seen mending for like 10 emeralds. Look, we're not gonna get rich if we let librarians like this rip us off. There we go, look how easy that was. So it ain't much, but that'll be our first, and we're locked in. Unfortunately, I don't have an anvil. So it's time we make an iron farm. And this time I think I'll just speed run it. Now I just need to get three villagers to go up there. Okay, this is gonna be marginally tricky. So we got zombies coming in, but the general idea is Pretty basic. Just gonna start slowly bringing these guys up. Okay, this is actually not too bad. Oh, that was super easy. So that's about it. Just need a hopper system, water, anvil, a name tag, and one zombie to have this whole thing come together. Oh, look at that. It's a beautiful thing. So we place the name tag on the zombie like so. Place a redstone like there. And as always, one beautiful self-induced horror machine. And there we go. 20 iron to begin with. 
I mean, let's be honest, an iron farm is a very big way to getting rich quick. So all said and done, there it is. How do I get up there again? Well, I hate to say it, guys, but if we want to get rich, we're going to have to make travel a whole lot cheaper. Now, yeah, not only does that mean putting the fixins on our elytra. Actually, on that note, I'm probably going to put mending on like, oh, I don't know everything. You know, I'm realizing there's a lot of stuff I want to do, but a lot of it requires emeralds. And the only way we can get emeralds right now is through trading sticks, which is some peasantry level richness. So I propose a different idea. I am going to make a new villager area. And so to make it that we can get as many emeralds as we want, we're going to do the glass trick. You may be wondering, what is the glass trick? Let me show you. First thing we're gonna need are some villagers without jobs. I'm gonna dig a tunnel to bridge the gap between these two areas. That'll give us two. Actually, we'll just bring all the villagers over here. The more villagers we have, the faster we can make more villagers. Boom, beautiful. Look how easy that is. That's six regular villagers. That's probably enough. Okay, so that is a beautiful site. We've managed to separate these villagers and these guys. So that's actually seven villagers here. So if we're gonna convert these guys, we're gonna need a few things. First up is Silk Touch to make a Silk Touch pickaxe. Next, we need to go to the nether. We're here for one thing and one thing only. Okay, well, that's not a terrible start. Although it's not even gonna be enough to do one round of conversions. Wow, you see all this paper? We'll kill some creepers. Oh, here we go. 12 pieces of gunpowder. One thing I do struggle with Minecraft is sometimes I feel like it's like, oh, I need to take a very short trip. Why don't I spend two days making a farm so I can get 12 gunpowder for that? You know, sometimes you just gotta be realistic and tell yourself like, hey, I don't need that much. And look how easy it is to get fireworks. One more time, except this time, we fly. Let's go. So beautiful. All right, that's a stack. Guys, I, th I think I'm about to say something quite revolutionary. It's almost as though nether travel is easy when you have an elytra. Now, in other news, we somehow managed to stumble into eight villagers. Look, this video is gonna require a lot of villagers. So I'm gonna try to get a little preemptive on this and gather some more bread. Look, what I'm trying to say is we are going to build an empire. Maybe I should just make this like the designated village breeding area. We'll make a new super special room for cartographers. Next, we just bring the beds in here. We need a zombie. Basically just wanna have him drop down in. There it is. Now we let him do his thing. Need a spider eye. We've got the apples. We've got our splash potions of weakness. Oh no, wait. <laughs> I'm out of apples. Oh, wait, 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 I know what we do. We make a farmer, and we'll buy your bread, and you give me apples. Ha ha, there's eight more. And that'll be conversion round one. Just gonna go over here for a second. And now we profit. How do we do this? The glass method is probably the most broken villager trade in all of Minecraft. It basically takes advantage of a really crazy trade opportunity from cartographers. You just need to level them up once and then you turn glass into glass panes. Now normally their deal would be about 11 glass panes for one emerald. But after doubling up on the zombie villager save, they give you one glass pane for one emerald. It's pretty busted. The craziest part of all, however, is librarians, it just turns out, sell glass. That's 96 glass panes, which again, costs seven emerald, and we can turn that into 96 emeralds. Now, we lose a little bit leveling these guys up, but even just one single round of sales tonight, it's gonna get us to level 35 and is enough to generate 46 emeralds. Basically, we now have access to unlimited emeralds. Now, the truly crazy part is gonna happen today. So 54 pieces of glass, that's like over two stacks. Just watch this absolute insanity. That's two and a half stacks. Like 17 blocks of emerald, just like that. You know, our house may look bad, but I think it's safe to say, we're finally getting there. But you see, the crazy thing about thinking you're starting to get there, you know, even when you've managed to make, oh, what, I don't know, 58 blocks of iron? That thing is, once you start accumulating some wealth, you realize it's not enough. You realize we're just getting started. What we need is a librarian. You know, finishing up our mending gear, it's a nice start. You see, sadly, that's just not enough. Oh no, we need more librarians. That's right, fortune two. Wait, if we're gonna do that, we need another pickaxe. One sec, 
You guys remember these diamonds? Well, I didn't want to have to break them yet, but they're going to a very good cause. Except for this guy. He could stay. We only need three. Boom. Oh my god. Efficiency <laughs> four, four, two, three. Okay, that's easy. Turns out I didn't need the book, but it turns out we're not done just yet. You kids like looting? Oh, I know I sure do. Still not done, however. Efficiency four. That's the one, sir. We can grab an efficiency five pick. And then we can grab our perfect diamond axe. That's a perfect diamond shovel. So before we get to netherrating our gear, I'd say we're about 95% of the way there. Now, so far, I would say we're doing a pretty good job of getting rich. But I think I'd like to switch it up for a sec and do some exploring. You know, having lots of expensive blocks and great gear, it's certainly a sign of wealth. But I think another thing that's important are rare items. So we've got this treasure map here. We're gonna take off here and see if we could possibly find a heart of the ocean. Let's try heading this way to, huh, another village. There it is. Oh my gosh, it's underwater. All right, there we go. We've got some light. We are really on top of this thing. There it is right there. Woo! And there is our heart of the sea. Two more diamonds. A bit of gold. Oh, that's a dog. Guys, I have to. I have to. <laughs> Listen, we can't solve everyone's problems. Ah! No, no, come on, buddy, please. Yes! I think if I just fly away, his AI will like eventually catch up. Ah, home sweet home. But now featuring a dog. So that's day 25. We are a quarter of the way through. I think we should reassess. We've got a pretty insane source of iron. Our gear is near perfect and almost ready for nether writing. We've got a system for basically unlimited villagers. We've got one of the rarest items in the game. We nearly have enough wither skeleton skulls for a beacon. And probably the best part of all is we have access to basically unlimited emeralds. Pretty strong start, but we've got more to do. Okay, I need a break for my elytra this guy has smite four I'm sorry guys i can't resist the temptation is too much perfect diamond sword just, we just finish this gear off oh protection three we need this too all right listen i know i've been doing a lot of this so i'll make it quick that'll be full protection four armor and one unbreaking three elytra on the next few days i'll finish it up with unbreaking on the rest of few pieces we need that's just kind of a waiting game at this point so you guys can basically just consider this gear complete now i for one thing it has been far too long since we found some diamonds that was quick. So finally, the true diamond hunting can begin. That's gonna be four. And we're looking for about 400. And uh, then, then double that. Oh my God, okay. Gonna be one. Don't, 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 don't even think about, oh, okay. That's gonna be seven, not bad. Okay, minus 49, we're almost to the bottom. Yeah, there's some lava. Okay, we've got a small cave here. Oh, here we are. I feel like that's two separate veins. Oh, that's crazy. Well, that's really appreciated because this is just a two. And this is a four. That's 22 in total. Ooh. We got one. We got two. We got three. That's nine more. Okay. Oh, and look at that. We have a dungeon with diamond horse armor. Actually, not bad. Now, that's great and all, but I think at the end of the day, if we're gonna really find a lot of diamonds, we just gotta go back to the basics. And, oh, that is bedrock, so we'll go up just a little bit. Anyway, that's gonna be the good old-fashioned strip mine. We got lapis. We got redstone. And I am starting to wonder whether diamonds exist. That's tough. But look, if you want to get rich, you got to be able to deal with a little bit of adversity. Ah, you know what? Who said anything about adversity? This is easy. Well, it's going to be easy unless it's a small... It's a small vein. What is going on with these? There's like little threes. That's all we're getting. Gabe, come on, man. You got to do better than this. Oh, <gasps> shut up. Shh, dude, what? Have things changed? Do I not understand? What the heck is going on here, man? I, I just, I'm a little, what? <laughs> I'm a little blown away right now. In a very good way. That's a five and a three right next to each other. It's gonna put our grand total to 52 diamonds. It was 21 right there. Your confidence starts to wane, but then you find it and oh, it feels so good. Well, let's continue, shall we? Woo! Oh, that was quick this time around. It's gonna take us to 61. Yes! 
I don't know, I'm not feeling good about this one. It's a three. I feel like we're finding them very consistently, but we're just getting some pretty bad numbers. Ooh, ooh, regardless, that's gonna put us at 69 diamonds. Nice. Well, if there was ever a queue to stop, I think that's it. I'm actually going to just build my way back up. And actually the plan is we're just gonna install an elevator here. A beautiful start to what will someday be a beautiful collection. All right, so now we gotta make an elevator. This is very easy. Water here, hole goes here, soul sand goes there, signs here. We kelp all the way up, fall down once more. Woo. We break the kelp and now we have an elevator. It really is that easy. Now, next up from here, I think I've been hearing a lava pool somewhere over here. Yep, there it is. This feels like it would be a much better place to have another portal. Now, I promise one day I will get good at this, but it's looking like today is not that day. Little boop. Quick update on the emeralds. Things are going well. Now, I'd really like to start putting in some work in the nether, but it, some of you may already know this, the nether is a little dangerous. So I don't know, we should probably get like a totem or maybe like 10. So this right here is everything we need to make a totem farm. Now I just need to find a pillager oak post. Well, we didn't find one that way or that way. I guess we'll go this way. Oh, we've got a village. Feels like a prime spot for a pillager outpost. Oh my god, that was so... It's perfect. Dude, this is literal perfection. And we have ice spikes. Ready for this aerial attack? Oh, he's not. <laughs> so you need to be relatively far away to make this happen. We'll spend tonight just kind of patching up the area. That is uh, quite the opposite of what I'm trying to do. So we want to be like 150 blocks away from that. But at the same time, we don't want to be too close to the village such that the illagers and all that stuff go there instead of to our farm. I think it makes the most sense to go kind of like this way. I'm also going to need a villager. Well, we'll start this process before morning. Oh no, oh no, he's up. Here, take the job, take the job. Beautiful, okay, gotta get him over here. The fear is that he'll take a job from the village way over there. I'm just hoping he's far enough away. Oh, this guy is the man. Right, there we go. They're down there. First thing we got to do is just clear the land a little bit. This is not what we want. Illagers are going to spawn down here. They're going to get trapped. It's going to get really complicated. So we got to make sure that all these spaces they can go. At the very least, we got to make sure that they're uh, accessible, you know, to the one jump people of the world. There, so that should be good. So with that taken care of, we can start the farm. So this farm is brought to you by Voltrox. We start by digging a 10 by 10 hole, which is also going to be six deep. And done. In case you are wondering, this is going to involve trapdoor shenanigans. I'm gonna need to keep torch in this area so we don't get mauled by mobs tonight. Next up, it's time for gate shenanigans. You guys know those like big ravager dudes. This is basically gonna be the thing that deals with them because we are gonna place, uh, Lava, yeah, nice. Hmm, one second. So I'm just back here with my crimson gate. So that's not gonna burn now. So next we're gonna have water in our four corners. Basically things fall down into here. And if you're a ravager, you get burnt by that. Everyone else is gonna fall down here. To here. So this is going to be our killing slash collection chamber. We turn this into path. And then these blocks go here to give us a tiny little gap that we can swing into. All right, so there's our path out. Now the last, oh, you be careful. You be careful. Okay, last step is <laughs> getting this guy in here. We're committing this man to a very boring life. It's gonna go right in here, just like that. Anyway, that is the build. Now I'm actually seeing another village up here. I'm gonna grab this bell. And just as an extra precaution, we're gonna break all the beds. Now, oddly enough, I'm not hearing any pillagers here? A bottle of enchanting? Where have they gone? Uh, I guess maybe this is more of a daytime thing then? Where is your dude? There is your dude. Alrighty, so that guy's dead. Now we, and here comes the test run. So the raid's gonna start. I better put on some armor. I'm gonna go down here. Oh, that, that, no, 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 no. I gotta do that. There we go. So theoretically, they should all start falling down here. And now we just chop them. Wow, that was easy. Now, it seems like these guys are 
kind of dying, maybe? Or I guess it's just their health is going down and probably a Ravager up there is dying. Wow, this is kind of awful. I can't even like, <laughs> like, can you please die? Okay, I, I think we're gonna have to come up with something better than this, because this is like impossible. Well, that's one totem of undying. I guess I should probably pop that bad boy. Well, that's another one. Okay, this is not, wh what the heck? And that's gonna be five in total. I'm gonna be honest. It's an okay build. This is very bad. This is, this is like hard. I think we're gonna have to change this up. It's just like not working. We need some soul soil. We make campfires. So we're gonna make a few adjustments to this. First is just lowering it a block. Next, we're placing campfires on this. If they die by campfire, it'll still give us drops. We won't get the XP, but it's not really what we're here for. And that way we don't have to hack and slash, which is like 8 million times. So that fix should be fine. And we boop this guy. And round two, here we go. This is going to give drops. I mean, I guess I may as well keep swinging because like we have looting. And then actually the surprisingly useful thing about this is we get gunpowder and we can use that to make more fireworks. Who needs a gunpowder farm? I just had one other thought as sort of like a last minute precaution. I've read that vexes can get a little bit out of hand when you do this. So if we place some boats down and vexes do get out of hand, this will hold them. Oh yeah, this is working fantastic. Look at that, two more totems. Oh. Oh yeah, so there's the, oh, look how easy that is. Wow. So that'll put us at a total of 10 totems. And now we rinse and repeat. And wow, we're done. That was easy. <laughs> Five more totems, just like that. The only issue I'm really having is getting like pillagers to spawn, pillager captains to spawn. We got these guys, but no, no captain. And I think the right way to do this is just go straight up. Right, because now there'll be no mobs. We can just head on back down and they should respawn. Okay, there's one. So that gives us bad omen, but I want to try something different this time. We're going to go back up. Wow, okay, that spawned a lot. And spawn what we're looking for. Okay, there's the second one. So this time we're going to try it, but with bad omen too. So I'm very new to this, so kind of just figuring things out and having fun with experimenting. And done. So this time it would seem we've yielded a bit better numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Excellent, one more raid should do it. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, that is gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Enough to fill an entire chest and even a few extra because I'm dumb and am probably gonna die. So we'll fill the shulker box up. We'll say thank you so much to this lovely villager and we're back. Marginally richer and significantly more immortal. So tonight I am hunting creepers because I am stubborn and I refuse to spend my time on a gunpowder farm. Oh! <laughs> That'll give us a sack and a half. I should probably just make a farm, but I have other priorities. We have in my eyes, perfect diamond gear, perfect diamond tools. Guess we'll also get a kind of relatively sort of decent bow. The point is we could very easily go for netherite. So we just buy a bunch of beds. We just get perfect armor and now I'm like, oh, maybe I should bring my blast protection. Maybe I should bring my fire protection. This is probably as good a point as any to start. Oh, while we mine, we can also get all the gold we find. All right, so there's bedrock. Now we're gonna play the game. How fast can I get enough ancient debris for a full set of netherite gear? There we are. That'll be piece one out of 32 or 36 if we wanna get a hoe. Woo, that's three. Wait, I should be doing this on the line of a chunk border. It's not like insane, but it does increase your odds just a little tiny bit. There we go. That'll be four, five, six. Ooh, that'll be seven, eight, and nine. Number 10, there's another. That is 12. Oh. Oh, 13. Ooh, oh my goodness. I feel like these ones are separate, right? Maybe? Regardless, that puts us at 16, basically halfway there. Oh my gosh, that's another one back to back. So that's gonna be all our beds. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, okay, wow, this is happening. This is actually happening. Just trying to leave. Oh, there it is. Whoopsies. There we go. Also, I'm really sorry, guys. I just, I can't help myself. I know those one in 20 odds now that I got looting. Wow, I am 
really stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Do I give up? Never. Ha <laughs> ha! Look at that! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh my god. That was beautiful. Now get me the heck out of here. <laughs> Oh, man, I'm sorry, guys. It's not very often I die, but that's ahead. That makes three. Oh, that's a spicy bow. Sorry, guys, I'm getting distracted. It's just we're here. I got to attend to my duties. They're expensive today, so that's perfect. That should be everything. Let's go finish this job. Oh, nice. So we're currently sitting at 19 out of 32 or, or 36. Okay, ready? This is cool. Oh. That's not what I was supposed to do. You know what? Never mind. It's fine because that is going to be piece number 20. Whoa. Well, that's going to make 24. Well, I don't want to seem greedy, but like we better make sure that's that's all of it. Bro. <laughs> Five pieces off one bed. That is 25. That's also insane because we stopped right here and it was in this one right there. So we almost missed that. Oh, my bro. <laughs> okay, this is what I'm talking about. That is gonna be 28. Oh, I should probably remember to eat, huh? I feel like as soon as I got totems, I just got super lazy and I just haven't really been paying attention as much. There's 30. This run is just so kind to us. That is 31. There is 32. I messed up my timer, but what was that? Like around 45 minutes? Pretty happy with that. I think we should finish this out though. The luck we're having right now, we gotta go for the hoe. That's four, three, two, and one. I need one more piece. Come on. I need to have the block. Beautiful, ladies and gentlemen. That'll be 36 pieces of netherite scrap. Got the gold. We got the ingots. Woo! There it is. Not bad at all, ladies and gentlemen. So I didn't go for the silk touch pick because that like I, you don't use it very often. We just want the straight efficiency five netherite pick. And I chose to go with the netherite sword. I prefer being able to one shot undead mobs over two shotting everything. So smites my guy. We've also got two power four bows we can make into a power five. Bonus points if you get the reference. And let me also just note like take a peek at how cracked this chest is looking. We've got a metric butt ton of emeralds over here. And I haven't checked on the iron farm in a very long time. We've been away, so it's not gonna be insane, but that's still really good. Now, as for an iron check, that's gonna be 57 more blocks. That puts us at 114, almost ready for a beacon. We can get a beacon right now. Shall we get a beacon right now? Just need some strength too. And to prove I'm not a coward, we'll face the wither once in open combat. Ready, go Come on. There it is. No, oh, no, oh no, that's a hole, that's a hole, that's a hole, that's a hole, we do not like holes. Oh God, I'm in a hole. You know what? Listen, you brought me into this hole. I didn't want to fight you in a hole, but if you're gonna make me do it, I'll do it. Where are you? Come at me, fight me, you coward. Woo! Crazy what you can do with fully enchanted netherite armor. Now I definitely get it if you're wondering why I'm making a beacon right now. And it's actually for diamonds, right? Beacon gives you haste. Haste is really good for, for, for breaking, you know, blocks. The more blocks we break, the faster we can find diamonds. You, you get the idea. And I'll actually, I'll, I'll show you my game plan here. Normally, if you want to do your mining, you, you kind of need like to dig a, a hole going up, you know, outside, but we have it. We just need to place a slab there so nothing goes down. Let's see what we can do for more blocks. That's 20. So we need 100 and, yeah, it's not enough. Fortunately for us, we can fall back on our glass. That'll be 57 blocks again. That's really weird. And that, that should be enough. If we wanna place it right here. We will have to move the elevator. And that is a bargain I will not take. So instead, we're gonna do it right here. Hey, oh, well that's really nice. What an encouraging start. Oh, that's 10 right there. There we are. Just make sure this is in the right spot. Yep, I mean, I guess I may as well use haste now to break this, right? Yeah. <laughs> you know, this is going to save us a lot of time in the long run, but I'm wondering if the opportunity cost of setting up the beacon is like worth it. I feel like an underground beacon is at least a 10 minute thing to set up. 
So there we go. Now we get haste two. Now I've never done this with the new deep slate updates, but that is pretty quick. The question is like, does it save us enough time that it's, okay. <laughs> Look, the fact that we just got insanely lucky, this is, this is besides the point. Oh, it'll be 13 more. No, see, the point is, is this gonna save us enough time? You know, like, Deep Slate's a little tough. It's it's making me miss the days of being able to do that. All right, so we have, like, this pace. Oh my god. I was just trying to make an example. <laughs> I promise. That's 30. Anyway, like I said, there's this pace. And if we step in, it is a little bit faster. You know, I just kind of missed the days where it felt like a control alt delete button. Hey, hey, you know, this is why we do it. Oh my gosh, that's a nine. 51. Hey, I'll be just a small boy. You know, I gotta say, regardless of whether this is more efficient, I do think it's better for my sanity. And ladies and gentlemen, that'll put us at one stack. So, I don't know. Oh. Oh, it feels like we are a long way off our goal. If only diamonds were as easy as emeralds. So we've managed to acquire quite a few rare items, but I feel like if there's one thing we're missing, it's an enchanted golden apple. So we're just gonna strap this elytra on, and I'm gonna go this way for a really long time and see what happens. Guys, I don't know how people do this so easily. I can't even find a desert, let alone a temple with an enchanted golden apple. Well, we're finding lots of gold. Oh. <laughs> okay. Wow. That is a, a, a thing. It's like 2,000 blocks from spawn. I mean, if we're here, right? Listen, I've spent some time in a woodland mansion. I know how these things work. The false ceiling up here. There's the chest. Gunpowder. That's beautiful. One over here as well. A little more gunpowder. I'll take the name tags. Thank you very much. From here, we can head on down. Oh, that's the dude we're looking for. Right there. Wait, 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 wait. Easy. Ah, <laughs> sucker. Oh, there's a dude. Dude is dead. Yeah, dude is dead. Oh, I am almost dead. Well, thanks for the loot, nerds. I'm seeing a lot of beach and not a whole lot of desert. And somehow I'm managing to come back from he over here. Hello, home. Oh, yes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here's the desert. Oh, this is truly one of the coolest biomes in Minecraft. There we are. Now it's just like, oh, I don't know, a two and a half percent or something. What have we got here? Disappointment, that's what we've got. More gunpowder, but mostly disappointment. That's a temple. Whoa, sneaky. In here we have disappointment. Well, that was uninspiring. Now, why don't we talk emerald production? I think the system is going pretty well, but I actually just underestimated how many emeralds we really need. So you see this little thing over here? This just feels like it wants to be an area for villagers. So pretty much same deal as always. Just gonna move a bunch of villagers into here. So we can leave six in here. It gives us 10 dudes over here. And you know, I think we have enough gold for this project, right? We'll just need 20 in total. The problem is that doesn't leave us with a lot of gold and the plan is to make a gold beacon. Come on, buddy. You got this. Yep, there we go. So we'll still let this happen. We'll let the ball get rolling on this. And for the first time around, we can actually just let this happen. And while we wait, I think we're ready to take on a gold farm. Now behind me here, we have three boxes. And in it, they contain all the things that we should need for a gold farm. First thing we need to do is go up really high. There's our bedrock. Ah, uh, yes, okay. First we go up. Next, we're gonna make our collection platform. So basically everything's gonna fall from up there, down into here, and then it goes into the chests. So next, this recipe calls for glass all the way up. I didn't want to spend that much time getting glass, especially when I know it could be emeralds. So I'm going to use blocks and hope it doesn't screw up this build. Basically, I'm hoping that gas won't spawn despite me using regular blocks. So this is basically the area where things are going to fall down and die in there. Oh, 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 ladies and gentlemen, I want you to note this right here. I brought Frostwalker boots for once in the history of this channel. I thought ahead. <laughs> so this is gonna be a pretty standard build. We bridge out from here, 14 blocks. We do that to all sides. And now we need to make a circle. Something like that. All right, let's check this out. Okay, you see it, you see it. 
Ah, it's a good circle. I can't land. I can't land. There we go. Okay. <laughs> and now we fill in the gaps. Boop, boop. No, this is not allowed to happen. <laughs> this may not happen. This is exactly what I was afraid of. Oh, wait, I know why though. This is fine. I think I left my arrows at home. I'm coming for you, buddy. They call me the gas slayer. Woo. Ha ha. That's to be expected because we haven't covered this area in glass. We will do that and that will stop the gas from spawning. Uh, but for now, I think if I get over in this corner, there's a chance they could spawn off the blocks over there. I mean, I was gonna be like, and done, you know? Oh, that was so cool, we finished it. But um, yeah, we kind of ran into some, some issues there. And uh, well, here we are. This is this is the, the me in the middle of, of doing the thing that I wasn't gonna show you, because it's kind of boring. And as I was about to say, we are done. No, oh, you get out of here. Oh my God, I just realized I did this in the wrong biome. Uh, yeah. Look, guys, if you're gonna build a gold farm, just remember, you gotta do it in nether wastes. Otherwise, you'll waste a lot of your time. <laughs> so, it should just be that I place this here, and we we're gonna get some lads that want to break it. They fall down, and they die. Nice. Okay, so, now we just gotta make a sort of roof. I believe something like this should be enough to stop gas from spawning. Next, we once again want to build up. So that's our build limit. We can take this block, replace it with glass. And as you can see, we've got some dudes spawning down there. They're falling down. I don't think I'm confident enough with this yet to just go for the AFK. Cause like if a gas spawns, I'm probably gonna fall down and possibly die. So, so I think we'll just go ahead and wait a day up here. See how much gold that gets us. It oddly doesn't tell me what the day is up here. Um, that's looking like, yeah, 54. We'll go ahead and take a glide on down here. Oh, I think I know. Like, it wasn't super great, but I think we need to have looting three up, maybe? That's like a little under 100 gold ingots in about 15 minutes. Actually, I gotta say, that's like not very impressive at all. Mind you, I mean, we do have a ton more magma block. All right, we'll try this again, but I'll keep my sword out. Pretty sure the way looting works is as long as you have the sword out when the thing dies, you get the effects of it. You don't actually have to kill the thing with the sword. I might just try to make this a little bigger because I'm kind of feeling like this is not a very good gold farm. All right, so albeit small, this is a second section. Hoping that this might be a little bit better, baby. All right, so one more day. Oh my gosh, it's uh, it, it's really bad. Look, I'm, I'm not an expert when it comes to farms and I, I don't know, I was hoping this would be better. I feel like I've done better before. Yeah, at, at this rate, it would probably take us the, the rest of the video to get enough for a beacon. Anyway, I think we'll head back. That puts us at 32 blocks. That is not even enough for like half a beacon. <laughs> now, in other news, our dudes are good to go. So once again, it'll just be an easy level up and that's gonna be a whole heck of a lot more emeralds. All right, so this is all good. We've got everyone done. Um, the big thing is like, the more you get, the more complicated it gets because you're not sure like who you've traded with. So I think I think some organization is gonna be in order tonight. So this looks great to me, but if we wanna make things really efficient, we're gonna have to get some sand. Look, I'm taking the L on gold and I'm doubling down on emeralds. Oh, hey, more importantly, oh, hey. Now that'll be a shulker box full of sand. What the heck is this? This is on my property. A mending fishing rod, okay. Super random, but uh, yeah, you see that? You see that right there? Just chilling. So this is already kind of a room. I think I'll just hollow this out a little bit. So we've got a nice little compact system that's gonna use three furnaces. So now we eliminate the middleman. We should no longer have to buy from librarians. Like I said, it's a doubling down on the emeralds and a doubling down on getting as rich as possible. Next, that'll be all these guys taken care of. Uh, at this point, I may as well dig a hole through to connect the two. Now, let's see what our efforts are gonna yield us today. This is all free glass, handmade from the beaches of our world. Oh my gosh, that is one round of everyone. I don't even know if my glass production is gonna be able to keep up, right? Because we still gotta do a whole nother round 
And that is gonna be it. We just about finished. So we started today with one stack. Uh, if we do everything else that's in here, that's gonna be 60 blocks of emerald in one day. Come on, guys, I'm telling you, the emerald game is so much better than the gold game. Like, boom, look at that. Counting the rest of the stuff, we've basically got an emerald beacon. And you know, I think we've got enough gold that it at least looks like we we have a lot of gold. You know, it's, it's no, no iron or emerald, but it's pretty good. The big area we're lacking though is diamonds. That's 15 blocks. And we're gonna need a lot more than 15 blocks. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about forgot about this. One stack. That's a lot of emerald block. Now, let's get back to diamonds. We've gone ahead and cooked up some potions of night vision, and we are gonna do some cave exploring. I've never used one of these potions before, but like, this is ridiculous. I've just been living my life in blindness. Oh, that's kind of tough. Okay, three diamonds, not the best start. Surely we can do better than that. Oh my gosh, it's a big cave. So just a reminder, <laughs> this is what things should look like. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. Here we have, no, how could you do that to me? What? One? Big odds, please, please. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Seven diamonds, what? Man, I know. What? One? Bro, I have fortune three. Okay, we need a dub here. We need a fat dub. Please, come on, bestow the fat dub. Yes, there it is. It's a little better. We all know what this is. <laughs> Two diamonds. Next up, we have disappointments, followed by a hot helping of disappointment. Up next is, oh, look at that. <laughs> Me questioning my life choices. <gasps> oh my gosh. Please, redemption. Rede no, 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 don't do this. No. Oh my gosh. We have, okay. And one. Oh, are these separate? Okay, not not bad. So we are on day 60. Uh, that's 44 in like 20 minutes. This method is definitely a lot more fun, but it doesn't yield very great results. Oh, well, it looks like we have another cave. Oh, yeah, it's just like two or three in every vein. I feel like you find diamonds much more regularly, but you get way less per time you find them. Like over here, literally one. <laughs> like imagine if this was just an eight vein. Whoa, okay, this is at least very cool. Oh, we got a two. And a one, but that is a full stack. That's a one, that's a two, a two, that's a two. We've got a another two. Oh, hey, huh, well I have no idea where I am, but here's home. And if we check out our stock, oh man, that's only nine more blocks. Oh, this is gonna be a grind. The bright side, we did get a lot of other resources. 49 blocks of redstone. But you know, the great thing is, I know I can always fall back on my trusted emerald farm when I'm not feeling like we're rich enough yet. Just another 49 blocks of emerald. Now another day of that is gonna give us 59 more blocks of emerald. And I think really at this point, we need to get back to the diamond grind. So that's the first diamond of the day. And like, come on, just, this looks just so much better. That's, what's that gonna be? Oh my. Gosh, 14 diamonds just like that. You know, it probably took twice as long to find that, but it's just, it's a lot more satisfying when you get a spicy vein. Oh, there we go. Okay, getting a little back-to-back -back action here. Oh, let's see when you get the two into here. Oh, it's not so spicy. Uh, that'll be another vein. Looking like a four. So that's gonna be 25 in basically one day. You know, now I'm kind of unsure whether this is a better tactic. 25 diamonds in one day. That'd be 250 diamonds in 10, and our whole goal would take 30 days. That's not very good. Oh, oh, what the heck? Okay, there's more. Well, if this is 63, we're off to a good start. Let's keep this train rolling and find as many diamonds as we can. Oh, okay, going a little better now. That's 41. There we go. That's gonna take us to 58. There's our stack. And that, oh, 13 more. So I feel like two days got us about 
almost exactly a stack, whereas this stack is kind of cutting into our third day. So we've definitely got some work to do. It's not bad, but it certainly does feel like a drop in the bucket. On the bright side, we got a lot of redstone, a lot of lapis. Yeah, we can't ignore our emerald duties. I mean, I can probably stop telling you that I'm doing this every time I'm, I'm doing this because it's kind of just a consistent thing we got to keep hitting. But I mean, come on, guys, look, that's another 62 blocks of emerald. Oh my God. In other news, 55 blocks of iron. We're getting spicy. Now it is with great sadness that I must tear this down. Thank you for everything you've done, Beacon. So I think we'll set up shop this time over here. So there we are. We set up shop once again. All right, so that's set up. Now I grind and you guys could just get a diamond breaking montage. And done. Okay, so that is gonna be 26 blocks of diamond. I don't know. I'm a little defeated right now. <laughs> that was not great. 58, that is, that is a number. Look, we went really hard. But I think if I don't change up what we're doing, I'm gonna go insane. So let's move on for a bit. So we're progressing on our general wealth, but there's one thing you always need if you wanna be a true flex god, and that is multiple beacons. Uh, the beacon sh sh in the background sh should be showing right now, and it's not, which is, is kinda lame, but multiple beacons. First thing we need is a whole lot more slabs. And this is about everything else that we need. Almost. You see, there's one crucial thing that we're missing. That's this stuff right here. We need to mine a metric butt ton of nether brick. That's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna, gonna mine a metric butt ton of nether brick. Alrighty. That uh, should be enough. So now we just need to find the best location to set this up. And I gotta say, okay, so I think this is the most central area. This is the area that uh, is most over lava, is kind of like right in the middle. This is where we're gonna where we're gonna do the thing. But the first step that this build calls for is gonna be slabbing the entire fortress so that you don't have these spawning. It's gonna basically force spawn all the mobs in the area that you then want them to spawn in. So let's get started. Wow, this is gonna take a while. This feels a little bit more effective, but still, wow. Oh, can't forget these guys. Whoa. Oh my God, this is gonna be really annoying. So you can also do this with buttons, but my thought process was that for every piece of spruce plank, you get two slabs, whereas it would just be uh, less efficient with buttons. Although I, I suppose buttons might be easier to place. Oh, buttons are a little easier to place. Um, this might actually be the play. They just go down a lot easier. You don't have to like really think about it. With slabs, it's just like a little more conscious, right? You can accidentally hit two slabs on the same block. You can do that, you know? You know, some people, they're all for efficiency. I think sometimes you also need to consider like what's gonna keep you sane. Right, so generally speaking, this is gonna be our area. I won't bother planking this up. Oh, I didn't do that other side. You're spawning over there and lighting my stuff on fire. You know, that might be an issue with these slabs because these can burn. All right, we'll try more buttons. Yeah, see, this can happen. This can happen for sure. I think it's gotta be buttons. Look, we've already got this all burning. Oh, hey. No, no. Why am I getting so complacent? Why am I getting so complacent? Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, like, what's up guys? Like, I'm just this Minecraft YouTuber. I, I struggle to make one block jumps. All right, so that'll be another surface covered. We've got one stack of wood left. Even just in this outer area, we've still got a lot to cover, right? And like, that's not even counting some of the interior stuff back over there. Oh, number two. Oh wow, you can really start to tell like it's, it's like concentrating where everything is spotting. I am out of wood. Man, it's so nice though, that we're like just right over there for this build. Oh, and look at that, we got bones. Easy, nice. Yeah, so I mean, it's definitely a 
massive investment in wood, but I can tell already, like, it's gonna be super effective. Wow, okay. Well, you know, we haven't done nothing. There's also down here. Like, we gotta get all this interior stuff, too. This is surprisingly a massive area, but it's a lot easier to fill in since you're only doing a three row rather than, like, five. Oh, yeah, no problem at all. Whoa, okay, I... I think we've made it through this section. And then if you come back here, you'll see there's a ton of things spawning. That's what we want to see. Oh, and there's a third wither skeleton skill. Oh my gosh. Guys, we're not even gonna need the farm. I feel like we almost have two nether fortresses like touching or something. Cause like if I go over here, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Right, so there's this one, and then we just go over here, and there's ours. Ah, I don't know. It's 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 hard to say. They might be they might be the same one. Either way, I, I feel like it's close enough that we should at least do like a little bit off this. Oh my god, I I hate Blaze so much. Okay, I'm hoping that's enough. Looking at our side over here, I feel like we've got it. You know, I I say this with a grain of salt, but it just hit me. That was step one. Um um. Uh, 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 okay, I don't like that. Now, nothing else is gonna take that long, but yeah, that was, that was the, the first part to this. Like, let's not forget, we're here to build a farm. So we're starting with something like this. From here, we're building out 13 blocks. Now, from here, we're basically just gonna be connecting all of this. So out here, and connecting in like that. Oh, I did not do enough buttoning. I went too soft, and now I am just getting lit up. Everything could be buttoned right now, but that would just be more work because we'd have to undo some of it. Oh, <laughs> head number five. Right, I think we're properly buttoned now. That is six. <laughs> Next, we want to fill all this in. You know, one chunk Minecraft videos, they can be tricky, but if there's like one thing it's taught me, is just being comfortable being near to an edge that can kill you. Like this stuff in Minecraft used to bother me a lot, and especially like this, like it's lava, it's not even void. I'm just like, eh, it's fine. You know, practically no big deal at all, right? Next, we place a whole bunch of torches. Don't ask me why, I'm just placing torches. Right, so now that we've got all this placed, uh, we need to actually button it up quite a bit. And what's more, I am out of buttons. So I wasn't recording my audio, but we've gone ahead and we have made the hole. Uh, which is basically gonna be our kill chamber. So this build originally called to have a drop of 20 blocks, but if we're only 20 blocks away from the spawn points, we're not gonna get near as much as if we were, say, 40, which we are. So what I'm gonna do is actually place hay. That halves fall damage, which means we can double the distance they can drop. Okay, that does work, and it goes in there. Wow, that's really weird. So that should be that. Excellent. Okay, so that didn't kill me, obviously, because I have feather falling too. Actually, it shouldn't even kill the mobs that we take on. So this will be our vantage point to kill mobs. And we've got our ladder right here. So last step, we want to break all the everything that's inside of here, basically. All the torches, all the buttons. We basically just had this part set up so that we weren't having like a million mobs spawning on us while we build it. And now that it's super dark, there should be a bunch of mobs about to spawn. Right, so basically we, we did all the proofing around the nether fortress, right? And now nothing's gonna spawn there. It's only gonna spawn in this particular area. So we leave. Now we just kind of gotta wait and hope that this works. <laughs> Okay, we're getting a bit of mobs, but it doesn't really seem to be like <laughs> the insane rate that should be happening. Okay, just like nothing seems to be spawning at all now. That's so weird because like, you know, when there was just like all this area still kind of left open and now it's like nothing spawning. It's like we're getting a few blaze. And remember what it was like before? Like, is, is it a problem with this maybe? Do I need to open this up a little bit? Try something like that maybe? See, like this is what I'm so confused about. I've got 
them spawning on like the two open areas over here and then there's just nothing spawning in here but then as soon as we get this set up nothing wants to spawn in here guys i have never been more confused about a farm in my life okay let's try turning it down to three chunks okay well that's not the mob we want, but in the Soul Sand Valley, why are you sending me pig men? This is going to be unironically a better gold farm than our gold farm. Okay, I heard one. Okay. Well, it seems to be working a little bit better. Okay, so, oh, we've actually got a lot spawned. They're just not going into. I see. Okay. Guys, I think we're getting it. Okay, I almost need to go up to get the spawns or something. It's kind of weird. Okay. So this is render distance at two, which almost seems to be doing better. Okay. Oh my gosh. Is this finally working? Wow. Okay. I think, this, I think we've got it. Okay. So I think I'm finding that the key is to kind of go up a little bit just to get spawns to activate and then pop back down and wreck everything. Wow. Wow. This is like kind of cracked. Okay, so it's probably been like five minutes or so. And we have gotten three wither skeleton skulls so far. So we'll just go the rest of the day and see how many we can get. Oh, wait, is that? Yep, there's another one. <laughs> Right, so it's been one day and that puts us at nine total, which is pretty good for like 20 minutes, but I think we're gonna continue. Guys, we gotta become a flex god. And I think having a ton of wither skeleton skulls that we just don't even use, that feels pretty flex god to me. You know, like not even using them for a beacon. Okay, that is going to take us to 84. 18 weather skeleton skulls in total. That is a full sextuple beacon. But yeah, I'm wondering if this actually would have been better if I had just done it 20 blocks up. My gosh, yeah, now... <laughs> it's like now we're just firing through this. There it is. Yeah, okay, I thought so. That's 21. Okay, so I'm going to actually pack this up. And we're actually going to try this a little further up, see if this is any better. You know, it's just like I spent so much time on this. And I would just like really hate to not completely optimize it or, you know, at least try to optimize it. All right, so we'll see if this is any better. I uh, just got to turn the render distance down. That almost feels like I'm too close. Yeah, as soon as I go down, there's like a sweet spot huh okay so if i go here well we're getting spawns but it's not quite as good so it's definitely okay I, f I feel like there's like a sweet spot but it's just tricky because that sweet spot kills the mobs and and then you don't get the drop let's right, set this up Okay, so I've gone down just a few levels, and the big question is now, is this the optimal distance where we're gonna have things spawning? We don't have to like go down to get them to do that, but also we have the hay, so they shouldn't be dying. Well, let's see, are we gonna get more spawns or is that it? Okay, okay. Well, it's certainly constantly giving us stuff. And that's better than we can say for the other two positions because basically like, you're kind of like wasting time if you have to keep going up and down to just activate spawns, right? So it seems like this is, is that the ideal position for it. Anyway, that is gonna be day 85. I don't wanna spend the rest of our game here. So in total, that's 31 wither skeleton skulls. Actually, before I leave, I am gonna need a little bit of this. And we're out of here. Home! <laughs> Hello, it's been a really long time. I may have hyper fixated on that a little bit more than I had hoped. Right, so I think we're ready to take on some withers. We've got some potions. We've got a nice long hallway for this. And so here we go. Okay, well, that's not what I was expecting. I think I'm just gonna have to yeah, we're just gonna have to do this. But it's okay, because I have regen and I have strength. And when you have regen and strength and really cracked gear, killing the wither is uh, no problem at all. Oh, oh, it isn't, my old pal. Hi there. Alrighty, let's try this again. You guys can't really see anything, but we're at the bedrock level, so it can't really break us down. Um, can just be annoying. Okay, I might just try to do the tunnel trick if we got it. We got an opportunity on this. Okay, let's try that again. Take our potion or regen. We'll take our strength potion. And this time, oh, well, we got a tip bar. Oh yeah, nice. This is definitely the easier way to do this. Not a problem at all. 
Not a problem at all. And we can probably just go again, right? Boop. There we go. No, it's not going to be like that, sadly. But, I mean, it is, it, you know, it is still going to be like that. There we go. And that is going to finish us out. We've still got 16 Wither Skeleton Skulls left over. That'll be five beacons, which means six in total. So, I suppose, like, we could help our run. You know, I mean, it might just help the last 10 days of our run. We could just, uh, you know, just uh, casual six beacon. Also did don't know why I'm getting the advancement for that, but all right, cool. Now, the big thing I've been planning for this whole video, and you would have seen it at the very start, but I haven't actually recorded it yet, is uh, the shot that we're gonna use for the thumbnail of this video. I didn't want this video to be clickbait. I wanted to actually make something insane in the video and then use that for the thumbnail. So these last 10 days or so, we need to continue spending getting as rich as possible so that we can make the thumbnail that you guys have seen, but I actually don't know what it is yet because it's, uh, <laughs> listen, you, you get what I'm saying. We need to get more rich. So we'll start today off by making a bunch more emeralds and almost getting to level 100. But I'm gonna divert my attention away from that and we're gonna start thinking about what this super flex structure is going to look like so i'm thinking we want to do this next to the ocean that way it would just give us like a really clear open sort of sky you know maybe this is the spot right here I'm trying to make this a little more even pull that fov and maybe maybe a shot like that you know, good starting point. Break that block and there. That is our that is our center point. Okay, I might actually want to draw that in a little bit more like that. Oh my god, I'm so sorry about this FOV. Just one sec. <laughs> oh my god, this is terrible. Who plays Minecraft like this? Be something like that to start. Oh man, I don't know if we're gonna have enough diamonds. See, this is why we're starting this now. What if we start a pyramid like here? And then actually what we'll do is we'll have our focal point in like the middle, right? Yeah, see, there we go. So the other thing we can do if we're layering is we can actually remove some of these diamond blocks. Like this sort of vibe? Yeah, okay. Bigger pyramid behind kind of. Actually, that makes more sense to do the pyramids and then we can worry about the diamonds. Kind of like that? Oh, that looks pretty good. I can see where we're gonna get and it's gonna look cool. So probably we wanna do red on this side. Yeah, okay, that looks good. Now we need to do more diamonds. Yeah, there we go. So the big thing though is like, we just don't have enough diamonds, right? Cause that's gonna be, that's gonna fill that in. So that, that's good, right? But yeah, we need like at least probably another row. So what if like that was a row and then we started a giant emerald pyramid behind this? It's a little cheap looking right now. Don't get me wrong, but we could make it a legit beacon at the top. Okay, hear me out. We'll just grab all this. Okay, so that is looking pretty clean. I've actually got six beacons up here, but now we just need to get some diamonds. Want to see how fast I can get a stack of diamonds? Want to see me do it again? Cause I think I might actually have to. Uh, let's see, what can we do here? This is seven is... Okay, and let me see. Oh, we do have, okay, that's two more. Wait a second. There was this one diamond ore, but I don't think it's gonna give us enough. Definitely not. That's that. Yeah, we need one more block of diamonds. All right, this shouldn't take too long. Hey, there we are. We got one, ooh, spicy vein. That's 19 diamonds. Not bad, not bad at all. Uh, we also have extra gold that I had forgot about. That, that's. Probably not gonna make a huge difference now. Oh, hey, there's also level 100. Well, that's another goal checked off. Now, just one small thing I've been meaning to do is tear apart this shipwreck. Uh, not that I don't like it, not that I think it's, you know, causing problems, but it just, I don't know, it, it, it's, it's in my brain, and it, it's in my brain for, like, the view of this, and I don't really think it is, but as we wait for the sun to rise, we may as well take it down. All right, now, ladies and gentlemen, the second last thing we really have to to do for this video. We've got two more diamond blocks. 
We only need one to go right there. And there is our structure. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we can bring that FOV in. That is pretty sick. Wow. Dang, that is like a thumbnail. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, a few moments later. Let's try this one more time. Replace these. There we are. Now, where were we? We could go full netherite gear. I mean, that's the biggest flex. Man, that looks pretty insane. Basic Steve is also pretty cool. I think we'll just get both. And I mean, you guys obviously know what the thumbnail is. So yeah. All right, guys. So we've got the thumbnails. I've recorded the intro. We're not quite done yet. Cause sure, like this looks really cool. It's a great thumbnail, but I don't know. I just feel like to finish our world and, and you know, it, it looks super basic, except we've just got this crazy big giant thing over here. Feels a little lame to me. So we're actually going to tear all this down now and we're going to build our actual sick structure to show off all our wealth right on top of our, well, you know, this, this whole setup thing we've got going on here. All right, we've got the operation down below and we'll have our flex god status on top. So that means I, once again, I'm gonna have to tear down everything. Fortunately though, for most of this, we will have haste too. So this actually shouldn't be too bad. It actually feels like these blocks break faster than deep slate. And at the very least, it's the exact same. So it's all good. So there's that down. And now we have to do the actual Emerald Pyramid. <laughs> it's funny, it's like half my entire net worth is just in the ocean right now. Don't worry though, we are obviously going to recover this. And now ladies and gentlemen, for the final step. So I've gone ahead and we've set up a super unsafe work environment. We've basically just got a whole bunch of masons that are gonna sell us a whole bunch of quartz. This is where we're at so far, but I figure we should probably get started on the construction of our sick base. And actually, as it turns out, instead of clearing, I'm gonna have to do a lot of filling in. See, I want this to be my base height, but most of it is like two blocks too low. You know, maybe we could take this down one level and then this could actually be the floor of our super cool base. All right, so we can just rip all of this off. We still have filling in to do, but not near as much. All right, so I'm just gonna start with a border of quartz. Honestly, this, this is gonna be a structure that wants to be absolutely massive. I don't know how big we're gonna make it. I feel like it has to be at least this big from like that. Yes, yeah, so we don't even have the area covered. We do have all our buys for today though still. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I'm so dumb. All of you watching this video right now, you're watching me and you're thinking, wow, this guy is so dumb. Listen guys, it's been a long hundred days. We're almost there. My brain is starting to melt a bit. And in that, I am forgetting some of the essentials, like slabs. So here is our upgraded platform. So it's 24 by 24. A single beacon would be nine by nine. So I'm actually kind of curious to see what some of this might look like. Now we obviously don't have enough for a full diamond beacon, but we can just kind of get the dimensions. So this could be like the potential structure of it, right? You've got like four beacons with the entrance in the middle. Honestly though, I'm kind of thinking about taking this back a bit. Right, so just got ahead, I pulled everything back one. This was four, now there's two extra spots on each side. Then I went, I added another layer here. I feel like that's gonna give it just a bit better size. So to start just shaping this a little bit better, I will go ahead and make an emerald beacon. So my thought process is that it just feels like a little more of a flex to have like an individual beacon for every effect. There's only like four we really want slash need, but also just to set this first one up, it's gonna give us a better idea of what we have and what this is ultimately gonna look like. We can do iron as well right now. Now the question is, what are we gonna do with these other two? Oh, we do have a lot of emerald, okay. Oh, iron as well. Okay, maybe we're just gonna have to make this a secret and like you guys are gonna know, but like the lame people that just skip to the end of the video, they won't know, right? It's gonna be like our secret. See what I'm going for here? If you're here right now and you know, you're watching this, just comment like, wow, I can't believe you managed to make four different beacons in one video. See, oh, oh. That's perfect, that's all my gold. <laughs> okay, boom. Now, as it comes to this beacon, we've definitely got enough to fill this in, but we're not gonna have enough to finish it off. 
Oh yeah, we're gonna be majorly short on the diamond blocks. Oh no! Honestly, I don't even think we have enough days to finish this off. We could get sneaky with this. Sneaky, uh, extra cheeky. You could like do something like this. Oh! Oh, I screwed up. Okay, well that's gonna help us a little bit. Okay, that will save us a few diamonds. Dang, so we're 10 short. So, I mean, if I'm standing here, we've got all four. Uh, but if you go here, not so much. Right, so I do wanna have some walls on this. Um, something like that, kind of. And so you kind of see what we're going for here now. And so then we're gonna go with this little guy in the middle. It would seem as though we don't really have any leather. Well, I'm gonna have to go find some leather. AC 130, inbound. Huh? Ah! <laughs> so the plan is to do something like this, I think. The idea is, is for this to also be a flex. Like we could do, ooh, actually, 16 is gonna turn out to be a perfect number. All right, yeah. <laughs> and then we can take, take all these guys. It's just symmetrical, feels nice. Okay, we're actually like almost there. This is just the big thing I wanna somehow fix. I don't know, maybe we'll do two layers? That's good, I think we just gotta remove the torches. I just feel like these torches are making it look super lame. Okay, what are we, we're day 96. We could get four blocks, not too bad. Yeah, I'm gonna go do this right now. It'll be five blocks. That six, it's still not gonna be perfect, but I mean that, like the fact that it's just this bottom layer, that's actually really big. We're so close. Guys, we, we, we gotta finish this. All right, so we have four diamonds. We need 32, half a stack, that's gonna be nothing at all. We got the boom. We got, oh, that's six. This could be it. <gasps> Okay, close. And we have, I cannot math. Ladies and gentlemen, I said we have, boom. There's a 36 right there. Oh, oh, there's 52. All right, so that makes five. So, I mean, we're still not a legit diamond beacon, but now at least it looks legit. Other thing I wanna do is like, See what, see what we got going on here? Like a, like a this kinda. We've got a heart of the sea. We've got ancient debris, uh, netherite ingot. Feel like diamond horse armor maybe? I just, you know, the rare, the rare item. Goat horn, is that really all that rare? See, like we put that there. Ancient debris there, another right angle there, and I guess heart of the sea there. You know, I, I, it's subtle, but I, I think it's an improvement, right? We gotta show off all our cool stuff, obviously. So now we really just gotta make a roof. Maybe something that juts out a bit? You know, I'm almost wondering if simplicity would be better. See, we've got this little tower. So I think it would be cool to just recreate that, but like out here. Hmm, how do we feel about this? You know, let's see from like the sky. Whoa, okay, if I was just like some random person trekking through, it's like, oh, Minecraft world, Minecraft world, and then boom. Wow, oh, wow, okay, there is like a flex god somewhere here, you know, clearly. Like from the ground, it's all right. But if we back it up a little bit. Ah, I, I like it, it's simple, you know? And, and basically this is like the testament to this entire run, this entire 100 days. You guys can go ahead and subscribe. Also, go play on my Minecraft server. I'm gonna take a very much needed rest. And guys, I will see you in the next one.